This is Fat B Man, and I'm going to show you how to build a high top feeder. I'm getting these things patented, and these work on 5 frame, 8 frame, and 10 frame. They're very simple, very cheap. I'm going to show you step by step how to make them. These are some right here, one of my students made a couple days ago. But you want to try to get the parts all assembled, cut out all your parts. Now, the bottom part, or the ladder, is five and a quarter wide, and these little short pieces, they're two and a half inches. Hope you can see that. Now, the angles is not difficult. If you have a, ch a chop saw, set your angle at 22 and a half degrees. This is the first step, these little pieces here. And this here is cut two and a half inches. This, this is a solid piece here. And all this stuff is made out of scrap. The next step is put the legs on it. Those are 22 and a half degrees by three and three eighths long. You can see it's not hard. You do it in steps. Now the, sec uh, the third step here is get a piece of luon, five and a quarter by three inches, and staple it to the top. You'll be stapling it right across the top here. Now that's the next step. Now the next step you want to do is you want to put your screen on. Your screen is five and a quarter, five and a quarter by five inches, and I formed this one already around. So you come across just like this, you form it up, and it bends right to the the feeder. All you have to do is put a couple staples here. A few here, bend the top cross here, you got enough right here to bend over. Now, once it's assembled and you've got the screen on, then you need to cut a strip of aluminum. Aluminum flashing, or you can use old Coke cans. Just cut them open, flatten them out. Two inches wide by five and a quarter, and you want to bend it so it goes into the corner here. That makes the seal. When you put this in like this, it seals up against your, hot, your uh, box here. Now this is a box, it's four and a half, it's a standard nine and a quarter, and what we've done is put a two and a half piece right in here, a little short piece, two inches here. This is where the bees come up. Now if we set this in here, you can see how it actually works. This is why you have that little piece of aluminum. Put it in here just like this. Now your the milk jugs or, or water jugs, I just lay them down in here just like this and mark them and cut them. Now you want to put a staple in each corner that holds this in place. Then when you take this piece and you stick it in here just like this, that seals it. Now you put your sugar syrup in here or you can put water in here in the summertime. The bees can't come out. It's self-contained. It's absolutely a no-drown feeder. This is what I've come up with because I'm cheap. Now, if you like these videos, uh, go to DixieBeesupply.com, send me a donation. Most people are paying for this, uh, these plans on my webpage, so if you're enjoying it, you're getting something out of it, send a dollar to it. It helps. Appreciate watching the Fat Bee Man.